In this video, we're simply going to be setting up our custom beacon host object class. So what we're going to do here is if we go ahead and open up our header and CPP, I opened the wrong header, we will want to, one, override a function that already exists, and two, set it to use our new custom beacon client classes. So if we head over to the documentation page for a online beacon host client you'll see the variable client beacon actor class and this is going to be a reference to the type of class that is that our client beacons are so in our case instead of them being the default you know a online beacon client it's going to be a nazi zombie beacon client so we need to actually include that class so i'm going to copy and paste our header and change it to Nazi zombie beacon client h. All right, once that's done, we check out the variable, it's client beacon actor class. So we do client beacon actor class, set that to be equal to a Nazi zombie beacon client. And we want to get the static class. So that's one thing down. We want to set the beacon type name. So you can see here, beacon type name, it's an F string. Do beacon type name equals client beacon actor class. Get name. Just to let us know. And that is all for the constructor. Now we want to override a function. Scroll down here. My notes I saved for future testing. So as you can tell by the name on client connected, anytime that a beacon tries to connect to our to us, this function will run. So what we want to do is we want to actually begin by um what's it called? We want to test well just simply print out a message. So when a client connects, okay, we can confirm it because the message got printed out in the logs. So if we go over here to on client connected near the bottom, see it takes in two parameters. We'll go ahead and copy it, paste it into our header. And override it. So now we can go ahead and create the definition of on client connected so it takes in a online beacon client and a unit connection so what we're going to do right away is we're going to call super on client connected and we're going to pass in new client actor and client connection just like so and i'm going to go ahead and print out a log so if new client actor else so ue log connect to client valid and connect the client invalid just like so and I'm going to go ahead and compile Let's wait for this to finish. And this will be all that we're actually doing right now in the host object, because in the next one, we will actually be working on our client and getting it set up to where we can actually attempt to make the connection. So I will see you in that one.